Welcome out to another week of Bridge Kids. We are stoked that you are watching and we cannot wait for another episode. Yeah, we are so excited for another episode of Bridge Kids Live. And last week we actually got to be with some of you when you joined the family service. If you would like to come to church and join in our family services, make sure you book in on Tuesday morning. Hey, last week on Bridge Kids Live, we had a challenge and it was all about what's in the box. Now you guys have been busy this week on Facebook trying to guess and we've given you a few extra clues as well. And I wonder um, how you guys went on this whole challenge. Do you know what's in the box? Um, personally, I don't. I think it could be a giraffe. <laughs> A giraffe, wow, it like, could be. squished up inside the box. That's exactly right. Yeah. Maybe some pens, I don't know. Okay. Some pens, yeah, it's something that rolled, so yeah. we kind of giraffes roll. But are you ready? We're going to have a drum roll from, yeah, that's good, good job. And reveal, this is probably the most random thing you'll ever find in a box because normally you will find them inside a chocolate egg, but we have Kinder Surprise egg toy wow. things wow. inside the box. That is very cool. It's I very wonder exciting. if you thought that that was what it was going to be. Yay! Okay, very good. We have another challenge for this week. Can you please tell us what it is, Pastor Trish? Yeah, I can. It is a paper plane making competition. And the goal is, I know you normally make a paper plane and to fly the furthest, but I'm looking for the best design. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so no pressure, but we're going to do that right now. Um, See what the best design is that we can come up with. This is our our attempt. So here we go. All Let's right. do it. These are our planes. We really like them. We hope you have some very cool ones. Cannot wait to see your pictures. So take a photo, upload it to the Facebook group, um, and let us see. And while you've done that too, once you've done your design, what should we do? Throw it. Oh. Okay. All right, ready, set, go. Whoa. There was a bit of a collision. Whoa. Still Look going. Mine. Wow, that's amazing. Oh. That is very good. Yeah. We have so much left of Bridge Kids Live. So enjoy it. Have a good time. Some stuff, let's go. He's the chosen one, he's the champion, the winner for all time. With me to the end, Jesus is my friend, he's always by my side. Anything I face, he will be my strength.
I am so excited because today I'm going to show you my sock collection. Get ready. I have this basket full of socks. I have this basket full of socks and I actually even have more baskets. So where do I begin? Um, well, I've got some unicorn socks and some dinosaur socks. I've got Christmas socks. I've got fluffy socks, tie dye socks, so many, but there was one pair I really wanted to show you. Um, where is it? Not, not any of these. Is it in here? No. Did I drop it? No. Where is it? Oh, here they are. My sheep socks. I really wanted to show you these ones. I love these ones. Oh, phew. I thought that I lost them. And you might think, I have so many socks. Katie, what does it matter if you lose one pair? But I love all of mine, so I didn't want to lose any. And you might think that's pretty silly to be worried about losing some socks. But Jesus actually tells a story in the Bible about losing something too. There was this shepherd and his job was to look after his sheep. And he had 100 sheep. That is so many. That's like enough sheep to fill your whole house. And it was at getting towards the end of the day and he was counting his sheep and he went 97 98 99 oh and he realized he only had 99 sheep there was one sheep missing and you might think like me that there was so many socks so many sheep what does it matter if you lose one but do you know what that shepherd did he stopped what he was doing and he went out to look for that one sheep and he looked and he looked and he looked and finally he found the sheep and when I first heard this story I thought maybe the shepherd's going to be angry at that sheep for getting lost or maybe the shepherd will be annoyed because he's so tired from looking so much for the lost sheep but do you know what how he felt when he saw that one lost sheep he was so excited that he'd finally found him. The Bible says that he joyfully picked him up and that he carried the sheep all the way home. And when he got home, he called out to his friends and his neighbours and he invited them all around. And they had a party and they celebrated that that sheep that it was found and that he'd come home. How cool is that? And you know that God is just like that shepherd. He comes and he looks for the lost, for people who don't know him yet. And God created every person. He created you and me, and we are all so, so special to him. That he seeks each one of us, and he parties when we're found and when we come to know him. And the Bible says that there is rejoicing and celebration in heaven each time one person comes to know him and gives their life to Christ. How cool is that? All right, now it's time for me to have a party now that I've found my socks. Okay, guys, we have a drawing competition now, but it has a twist. So we need you to grab paper, pen, and a book because we're going to put it on our heads and we're going to try to draw something on our heads. No more sorrow and no more night. You're the light, let it shine now. Let it shine now. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a tree. <laughs> so we're going to start off with, what's that long part of the tree? What's that called? The trunk. <laughs> the trunk. We're going to draw the trunk of a tree. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then on that now, um, I'm going to make it a bit harder. Now we've got to draw the grass at the bottom. Oh. So we're going to draw the grass so, on the side. No, okay. <laughs> Dang it, no, I'm okay. gonna I'm gonna cheat. So, I'm no, gonna... Isaiah is cheating. <laughs> okay, if you're at home, I hope you're following me and not Isaiah right now. Okay, now we're gonna go back to our tree trunk. That's the long part of the tree. We just learned that. And we're gonna do the top part. Some might call it the leaves uh, of the tree. I've already done it. <laughs> and we do that. And then now what I want you to do is I want you to draw yourself beside it, okay? Oh, so draw yes. yourself, and I want you smiling, and I want you with one eyebrow up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I should have a double smile. Okay, so I'm going to give yeah. you two more seconds. Okay. okay, are you ready? What we're going to do is we're going to flip it, and we're going to show it to the camera. Oh, no. Three, yeah. two, one, go. <laughs> Okay. Now we're going to have a look at it ourselves. Uh, oh! oh. 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 oh
Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm like, that's just right so now. good. Cheating. Oh. Yeah, well, oh, Look, how did you guys go at home? Hopefully better than I did. Okay, that guys, well, it has been fun doing the drawing challenge with you. We'd actually like to see what you've come up with at home. So you can mm -hmm. um, take a photo of your drawings if you want it and put them up in the Facebook groups. Uh, we can all laugh together. <laughs> or you can come up with your own challenges and just test out your parents at home as well. But thanks so much for having us. See you guys. guys. Stories of the Bible. The Lost Sheep. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. Jesus taught everyone about God's love. All kinds of people would come to hear Jesus speak, including tax collectors and people who made bad choices. This made the Pharisees and Jewish leaders mad. Ah, yuck. They didn't think that Jesus should be around these kind of people. Hmm. So Jesus told them this story. If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them gets lost, what will he do? Who stay here? Won't he leave the 99 others and go to search for the one that is lost until he finds it? And when he's found it, hey, woo he will joyfully carry it home. When he gets home, he will call together his friends and neighbors saying, Oh, everyone, come here, come here. Celebrate with me because I have found my lost sheep. Yeah. In the same way, there is more joy in heaven over one lost sinner who returns to God than over 99 others who haven't strayed away. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. Oh, 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 oh,
It was so great having fun with you on Bridge Kids Live this morning. That is exactly right. And hey, I'm excited to see these paper plants. We enjoyed it and I can't wait to see yours. And don't forget guys, not only are we doing Bridge Kids Live, but we have family services 8, 10 and 4 p.m. on Sunday. So get your parents to book in from Tuesday. Can't wait to see you face to face. See you later. Bye.